Hi, my name is Jasmine Mendes, and I live with an autoimmune disease, too, actually. <laughs> in 2007, I was diagnosed with scleroderma, and recently I was also told that I have uh, a slight lupus uh, flare or onset. Uh, it's been a rough road, um, but I'm happy to say that um, I feel as though I've come a long way, and I'm healthier now, actually, than I was even before diagnosis. Um, aside from living with scleroderma, I, I teach, and I'm also a poet. So I want to share my experience and my story with you um, through a poem. Getting Thick Skin by me, Jasmine Mendez. One, the doctor picked up a pen and a pad and prescribed pain medicine. You have scleroderma, so go home and rest. Any questions? And he walked out of the room. Where do I begin? Where should I go? What will happen now? He'd placed a knife in my chest that I couldn't pull out. So for the next four years, I slowly bled to death. Two. Cold, brittle bones breaking with each bending motion. Muscles made mush by too much movement. Frozen fingers feeling fragile at the touch of an ice-cold glass. Solemn, sleepless nights where I was left longing for something more than an idle prayer. Regurgitating remnants of food fragments that crept up my esophagus and burned my already tattered trachea. As I desperately tried to nourish myself, but my own body ate away at me, left my stiffened skin inexplicably incapacitated and all I could hold on to was my mortality and my memories. Three. I reached for a bottle of pills that beckoned and I took just enough but wearily wondered what would happen if I took just a little bit more. But the thought of my mother stopped me. I drove past a locked empty church that told me Jesus was near and I contemplated running the red light into oncoming traffic but my phone rang and my husband's voice stopped me. I drank another glass of wine and walked into the medicine cabinet at this time, staring sullenly into the mirror, my own rejected reflection stopped me. What was I doing? Who had I become? Where was I going? Four, I pushed the knife deeper into my chest until I couldn't feel it, and with my tears, I healed the wound that would leave me scarred. I got up, leaving most of myself on the floor and began walking in a new direction. I was not who I had been. I was not going to become who I wanted to be. But I was born again, and I would learn to eat again like it was the first time, savoring delicious delicacies and enjoying every bite. I would learn to see the world again as it was meant to be seen, like a child, with wonder and not with woe. I would use my brittle bones and meager muscles to their full capacity and understand that it didn't matter how long I could use them, but how well I had used them. And I remembered my memories, but I didn't long for them. And I understood my mortality because it allowed me to live again. And the dark places still exist and the taunting thoughts still threaten because I have scleroderma, but it doesn't have me. And hope and understanding came to me through an incurable disease that taught me how to live purposefully. Thank you.